Hi, you're welcome to my YouTube channel, Alma's Vlog. I'm happy to have you around today. How is your day going? Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for, you know, trusting us. Thank you for believing in Alma. I truly appreciate you. If you're just stopping by today, you are welcome. If you've been with us, I truly appreciate you. Thank you. All right, today I want to talk about, you know, family courses. I want to talk about bondage, spiritual bondage. I want to talk about spiritual hatred. I want to talk about spiritual, you know, you know, chains. Okay? Because many people do not know that they are in bondage. In spiritual bondage. They don't know. They keep, you know, going praying. They say they have been praying and doing all sorts of things. Yet, what is happening is still happening. Okay? They have tried to use so many things and it's not working. So, today I want to teach how to break forth out of bondage. Using just a product that is very common. You can get it anywhere. This product is everywhere. Even if you don't see where to get it, you, cannot, you, can, you can produce it yourself. You understand? Just at the back of your head, within a twinkle, you've gotten it. Alright? What product am I talking about? Ashes. Ashes. Just ash. An ash. You know what ashes... You know what, what ashes is. Okay? You know you can get it with your making firewood. You know, from your charcoal, you can get ashes. You can get ashes from people that, you know, sell corn. You can get ashes from people that fry akara. Anywhere, you can just go there, you get the ashes. Alright? Yes. So, we want to talk about how you can use it to break forth from evil chains, from bondage. Because many people do not know that they are, that they are even cursed. Do you know that even some children, some mothers, some fathers, they do not care if you're a child or not before they can curse you. It could be their normal way of talking. Oh, they sent you on an errand as a child and then you just went to go and play ball. Since morning, your mother has been waiting for you to come back. Or maybe as a girl, instead of you to go for that errand, you followed your friends to go out and all that. And she's been waiting for you since morning. You understand? Where she is, she will be, say, she will be swearing for you. Oh, it will never be well for well, it will never be well with this child. This child had left since morning. I've been hungry. I want to do some things, and then I sent him or her on an errand, and she or they, they, she couldn't even bring it back to me and all that. Before you know it, she has started laying curses on you, that your children will do this to you. You will never hear the cry of a baby in your house. You would you will be childless because it looks like as if she's childless. She does not have a child. Look at Mama and Kechi. Her child went since morning and came back immediately. Now she has gone to the market to buy things. And you, you have been my child since that morning. And all that. You know, some parents, because it happens. Most especially, not, I don't know about recent, in recent parents. But people, they, they don't care how they talk. Before you know it, they've started swearing for you to never be well with you. It will never be well with you for leaving me to stay hungry like this. They will not even see that attitude as a child's attitude. You understand? Though a child is supposed to, you know, be, be compassionate. A child is supposed to know that, yes, it is very important. But you know children, they can just go. Or maybe they will stand and be watching one or two things on the road. They will not even remember that they sent them on an errand in the first place. And before you know it, this woman or the man, the mother or the father has started swearing. It could be a foster parent. A foster parent a child is staying with. It could be some people who stayed as house helps before they grew up, got married, and get married, and then started having their own family. Their aunties they were staying with, their foster parents, their, their, their uncles they were staying with, they crossed them, and they don't even know. Before you know it, whatever they do will never be okay, will never be fine. Some are men, men that promised women marriage. Is, I, want to, I want to address this issue. Hey, I want to address this issue. See here, eh? men, you got to, you guys, you got to be very careful. You got to really be careful. Please, I beg of you. I beg of you. You got to really be careful. You don't tell a lady to wait for you. There is a difference between that you are in a relationship with a lady. You guys are doing very well, you know. Nobody promised anybody marriage. It's a different boyfriend, girlfriend stuff, no problem. But you telling a lady, okay, babes, I'm going to travel to abroad. 
I may, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, gather up money. Please, can you assist me? Let's make up this money. Let's make up this money. Once I go, I come back. Once I come back, I'm doing your traditional marriage and white wedding at the same time. And I'm going back, you know, to abroad with you. Do you know what it means? You will feel maybe you're smart. You are very smart. You're a smart guy. You want to outsmart this poor girl. But let me tell you. Hmm, that cause stands. If she costs you, that cause will stand in your life. Especially if she knows how to do it. That's why I don't want to talk about, I don't want to teach girl, ladies how to do that kind of thing. Because that kind of thing can cage a man. It can make a man, it can cage a man forever. If she's not the one that unties it, that kind of course. <laughs> Please, if you're a man here, especially if, if, if God has, had, has designed it that you are one of my subscribers. Please, I advise you don't promise any lady marriage. Let's be going is better than I will marry you. It's even better when she's asking you, baby, what's going on, baby? Where, where is this relationship leading us to? You can see her maybe to Lagos or to Anambra. I don't know yet, baby. <laughs> maybe you say I don't have money. <laughs> maybe you say I don't have money yet. Uh, you are telling me, you're asking me, how can I? I'm not even taking care of myself. How can I take care of you, baby? Let's see. It's even better you come out straight. I've seen a guy that told the girlfriend, Babes, please, if you see a husband marry. I was like, sure. The lady was not sharing with me. He said, what kind of a boyfriend is this one? He said, you know, this guy doesn't love me. This guy, in fact, this guy hates me. He said that if I see a husband, I should marry. I said, look at you. Because you want to live in a, in a, in a world of deceit. You don't like truth. Truth is bitter. Because you, you, in your heart, you know, you know that this guy is the one that loves you. In fact, he loves you more than you love him. Because he knows that he is not going to marry you. You guys are doing boyfriend and girlfriend. And now you want to force him. You want to force him. He has told you, if you see a, a man marry, use your tongue and count your teeth. This means he's not going to marry you. And he doesn't want to come out straight in order not to hurt you. The lady said, how can't he just tell me to wait for him? I said, eh. He will give you an engagement ring. You wear the engagement ring 30 years. Is it not? Engagement chain. 30 years. My sister, that's the guy that loves you. He is the one that truly loves you. The one that, that is telling you the truth. He says, if you see a husband, go and marry. That's the, that's the, be, that's the only truth. The only truth I've heard so far from a man. You understand? So, if you're a man here, don't promise a lady you're going to marry her. When you know within yourself, you are never, you don't, in fact, you, you don't even have this lady in your list. Stop deceiving this lady. Because why I'm saying this is that if she cries and, and swear for you, eh, she curses you afterwards, after waiting for you, especially after rejecting other suitors, you pinned her down. And pinned her destiny. She was waiting for you. She's been waiting for you. And you came back. And you left her to go and marry another person. Or more. You just decided to cause yourself by your own self. And by your own mouth. With your own mouth and by your own self. Honestly. So please. I want to emphasize on this. Don't promise anybody marriage. Or a lady. You are a lady. You promise this. Because the guy. You want, you want to be gaining something from him. He's training you in school. He's the one that is paying your school fees and other things. You just want to deceive this guy. So that after after all these things, you will tell the guy that he's not your level. He's not gonna you're you're not gonna marry him. If that guy swear for you, your own is finished. Or your is your name. You understand? So okay, enough of the you know lecture, enough of the sermon anyway. Okay, let's go straight to the topic we have for today. Okay, I said it's how to break courses, how to break forth from you know bondage, spiritual bondage, spiritual chains. Okay, how to break family curses using ash, using ashes. Okay, how to break all these things using using them um, ashes. Okay, you're gonna get ashes and you're gonna get palm oil. You need palm oil and you need black soap. Okay, you need black Ghana soap. Okay, if you don't have, uh, if you, where you are in abroad, if you can't get um, Ghana soap, you can use your nose to do experiments to know how powerful ash is. Alright, when you blow an ash, 
it circulates in the air and some of it returns back to you, right? Okay? It becomes air pollution from higher concentration to the lower concentration, right? Fine, fine particles, right? Yes, fine particles from higher concentration to lower concentration, okay? Yes, when you want to also make an am do an experiment, get a glass of uh, water, put ash inside it, the ash will settle. It's not going to float, okay? Ash will settle, all right? Just as if you have added sand inside a cup of water, okay? All right. By the time you get this ash, okay, you get your soap. It depends on the kind of soap you're using. If it's only tablet soap, your white tablet soap, or any other soap you can get over there where you are, no problem. Just get it and cut it into small, small pieces, okay? You can also use it, all right? Then you get your ash, these ashes I'm talking about. You use, um, it depends on the quantity of the soap. If you're using one full pack of um, black soap, your other all these are Ghana's black soap. Please don't not your buy black soap. I'm talking about the Ghana one. All right. Some people call it the brown soap. Some people call it. If you don't know it, please refer to my three in one um spiritual soap. You will see it. I introduced it there. I've already introduced all these things there. Okay. So by the time you get it, mm, you take um two spoons of ash, of this ashes and put it in it. Okay. Add water. Add water to it. Okay, you can add warm water, you can add cold water, anyone, and mix it together. Or if it's a soap, tablet soap that you've caught, you do the same. If it's small, you, you can use only one spoon of ashes, okay? If it's big, you can use two spoons, depending on the quantity you want to use, okay? Yes. So by the time you, you do it, by the time you mix it, you keep it, please. This spiritual product is also applicable. I've told you guys that it's not good to use spiritual products on Saturdays and Wednesdays, okay? You can use it every other day. But this particular one must be used only, we use twice in a week. Tuesdays and Thursdays, okay? Tuesdays and Thursdays. That is when you will use this soap, all right? Yes. So by the time you, you are done mixing it, you are going to get a palm oil, palm oil do not mix this palm oil with the soap please this palm oil has to be separate but whenever you want to use it mm, you will use this palm oil apply it all over your body starting from your hair your forehead if you're wearing um hair extension or an attachment you start from your face and rub it all over your body as if it's a cream okay you rub it all over your body and stay for five minutes you can do it in the bathroom you can do it anywhere but you have to use it for five minutes before you start having your bath, okay? You are going to get a local sponge. No net sponge, please. Do not use net sponge, okay? Use only local sponge for this, all right? And once you use any local sponge, once in the, um, uh, and once you use it in for this particular soap, you dispose it off. Do not repeat, do not repeat um, um, soap, um, this uh, sponge. Do not repeat sponge. Don't use one um, two, uh, one sponge twice or three times. No. Once you use it, you dispose it off. If you don't have money to buy much, you can just share it. Buy, you know, buy the one you can and share it, okay? This soap will be used from time to time, twice every week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, okay? Yes, you'll be using it. As you are using it, you'll be praying. You'll be praying and making declarations that you're removing any cause. Any bondage that you have been tied on spiritually, any chains you have been on spiritually, you are breaking forth. You'll be talking to yourself. You know what? All the struggles, all the things you're going through, the family curses, all the curses received from parents, from grandparents, from, you know, anyone whatsoever. The ones you're aware of, the ones you're not aware of. You've taken people's things forcefully from them. You have you oppressed people and they cost you. These things can also affect your life and your success. All right. So as you are bathing, you understand that you'll be using the, you'll be using the sponge to be washing your body and all that. Be cleaning, you know, washing your face from your face to your body, all over your body with the local sponge. You know. Afterwards, that's okay. Once you are done with it, you are not drying your body. Please, no towel. 
no towel you can't use the normal towel for this no all right you can't use your normal towel for this please once you have finished having your bath knowing fully well that you used your course breaking soap please and um, please you have to clean up your bath bathroom clean it off all the water sweep it out you know clean it off you can mop it make sure the place is dry before any other person can use it you you should not use this um soap with anybody except it's a family cause that you are a family cause is you know for everybody but if it is your own cause the cause that you know you are married your husband did not inherit the cross with you your husband did not inherit inherit cause with you your wife did not inherit cause with you and your children did not inherit cause with you so why would you use the same soap with all of them you understand you shouldn't use it so you are going to use it for only yourself okay when you when necessary you'll be using it until you start seeing light in your life until you start seeing the difference until you start seeing progress until you start seeing success until you start seeing that these things have started changing this is when you will stop and then you do it only at intervals okay all right please no use it okay how do you use this soap you can use it morning and night use this soap morning and night but preferably at night but please, no sex at night before you can use this soap, okay? If you know that you are not pure, you have to have your bath before you start using this soap, okay? And then, if you are a woman on your period, don't use it until you are done with your period before you can be able to touch this soap. If you are a man, please do not keep it where a woman on a period will touch it. Please, once it's touched or once you keep it where you have sex, it's going to be ineffective. The soap is not going to work again. All right? Thanks. Okay, we are coming to the end of this video now. If you enjoyed this video, please give me thumbs up already. Thank you very much for staying with us. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you're just joining us today, you are welcome. Please click on the subscribe button. If you've been with us, I truly appreciate you. You all put on your notification buttons on so that whenever I, whenever I post a video, you will get notifications. I love you all and I'll continue to love you. All my kids, do have a wonderful day. Bye.